also some uh, MacG wanna be one of these podcast people who failed with the very low followers for sure his relatives only that are following him he says i must educate elon musk what is that no the one of twitter elon musk i must educate elon musk why must i educate elon musk he looks like an illiterate the only thing that protects him is his white skin elon musk wants to learn about this song the records are there in court let him go and read the judgment let him go and listen to my arguments in court i argued successfully and paralyzed the grandchild of um, oppenheimer and said to him if i were Afri forum i was going to fire you from this case when they did an appeal they fired him in line with what i said i said you are the most stupid lawyer i've ever met if i was your client i would have fired you he was fired so what a failed uh, a podcast, this unemployed lack of creative people who go and just take cameras and then do flopped podcasts, imitating McG, faking it. Satoba McG is still going to outshine them because of their fraudulent mentality. Outshine them because of their fraudulent mentality copycats um the eff is the second biggest opposition political party in south africa and the third biggest political party in south africa it is not a black party it does have largely black leadership but it is encompassing of white people of coloreds of indians even if you look at some of the members of parliament of the eff inside in the south african parliament not all of them are black people so it is not south africa's black party whatever that may mean number two this is all downstream from the rotten secular religion of wokeness. That is fundamentally incorrect. Um, the song that Julius Malimo is singing is an anti-apartheid struggle song. It is not a new song that has just been concocted because of wokeness around the world. Uh, it is not downstream from that. It is something that has been prevalent in South African politics currently, historically, during apartheid in the 80s, 70s. Elon Musk, as the wealthiest man in the world, as an ex-South African, as someone whose tweets affect markets and politics, needs to school himself on South African history if he is ignorant. If he is not ignorant, then he was very reckless in tweeting what he, tweeting, what he tweeted, knowing the history of this country. Because he knows there is no white genocide in South Africa. He knows that he has the access to speak to Cyril Ramaphosa directly. He has the access to speak to Julius Malima uh, directly. A failed... Uh... A podcast this unemployed lack of creative people who go and just take cameras and then do flopped podcasts these unemployed lack of creative people <laughs> you know just when i'm about you know i'm very confused on what to vote for next year 2024 we are voting yes I am definitely not voting for ANC and I don't know I was, I was considering voting for the EFF but after that comment no no thank you you know um, it shows how ignorant someone who is supposed to be a leader is you can go around um, with so much power unemployment is a very huge problem we have in this country and yes people are opening a lot of people are opening podcasts we have over 100 people that are opening podcasts daily now and yes thanks to meg g you know he has inspired a lot of people to open your podcast he has um contributed to this podcasting um culture so what do you want unemployed people to do sit around at home wait for 350 rands instead of opening a podcast and actually make um a living you can get like abuma 15k 20k 30k 50k even 100k if your podcast is successful and i looked at panel's numbers don't lie not only his cousins are following him a lot of people are following him i don't always agree with things that Upenol says but that's him that's his um opinions and beliefs and, and and so forth he does speak a lot of sense 
and that's why he has thousands of people following him because he does actually speak a lot of sense that comment just pissed me off honestly speaking and maybe that's because i have a youtube channel um that pays me and that pays me a very decent amount so for me this is personal i don't have a podcast you know i have a youtube channel a blogging channel but we are paid by the same people which is youtube google thank goodness for them because if it wasn't for google adsense or youtube hundreds of us would be unemployed hundreds of us would be earning um an average people's salary which is 3.5 here in south africa so if you want to drag penwell for what you think he said because he actually didn't say what to julius malema said julius malema is saying what's he um penwell said he must school elon musk penwell didn't say that in fact, I think it wasn't so smart of Julius Malema to comment on something that he didn't even watch himself. Because when I listened to him, he didn't watch um, that panel podcast. So some uh, make G wanna be one of these podcast people who failed with the very low followers for sure his relatives only that are following him. He says I must educate Elon Musk. As someone whose tweets affect markets and politics needs to school himself on South African history if he is ignorant. If he is not ignorant, then he was very reckless in tweeting what he, tweeting, what he tweeted. In regards to that, Tupenau actually said Elon Musk should school himself. He didn't say Julius Malema should school Elon Musk. He didn't say that. And he, there's a lot of positive things. In fact, 95% of the things that Tupenau said, especially about the EFF and Julius, a positive and honestly speaking the backlash he he is receiving it's uncalled for especially from Julia's I man come on we have number of people that are majority of people here in South Africa are unemployed they're unemployed they're earning 350 rands every month what are you gonna do with the, you can't even buy e, e, e proper grocery and rent and do what with 3,500 rands which is the average salary what are you going to do with 350 rands and here comes someone who wants us to vote for him next year um dragging people that are unemployed when i watched that video mid video i was like okay i get you dragging panel that's fine and then i hear the unemployment ignorance statement from julius malema and then now i had to go and watch panel's video the whole video i finished the whole video the whole 33 minutes is it 30 minutes or 33 minutes I finished the whole video because I was waiting for that one line where Upeno was being unfair or he was dragging U, 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 Julius Malema or you know he was he was being just hating on Julius. I didn't I didn't get that. I honestly did not get that. And before you justify or you defend Julius, go and watch that panel video and come back and comment. Because he didn't say anything negative about Julius. Anyway, do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below. So basically how this whole thing started, this guy, this American YouTuber tweeted um, because of what's happening in the US and that Black Lives Matter thing. He just saw this and said, oh, you see this woke culture now, you know, um, now us white people, they're going to kill us just paraphrasing right he tweeted that he has a lot of following on his social media even here on youtube he has like about a million people following him so he has a number of following oh. and then elon musk comments and says they are openly pushing for genocide of white people in south africa first of all who elon jaga footsake he identifies as an american he has never commented on south african um, racial matters this is the first time that i see him commenting on south african racial matters because now white people according to him are being attacked because of the song Anyway, do let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below.